Hello, I'm Brian, and uh, I'm the uh, founder, owner, and webmaster of uh, khww.net. And today, what I'm going to show you is uh, my cutter beveler. And uh, this is the operation. I made a few modifications, or actually, uh, the person that actually built this for me, um, between my mentor and him and me, we all came up with a few modifications for this beveler cutter when it uh, when we first when we first uh, designed and built it um, this used to be one straight solid piece uh, I've got it right here um, as you can tell it's a little bit different it's not uh, we went ahead and made this piece right here movable so we could uh, fine-tune our cutting which makes it a whole lot better I like it a whole lot better and this here, uh, this here bolt right here takes it in and takes it out. This just locks it into place. And what I'm going to show you is the beveling power behind this. This is going to be done at a 45 degree angle. Um, I have other uh, inserts that can take it to uh, 90 and 30 degree. And I've already got it set to the width that I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take this through the first run and then show you the bevel. The first run usually isn't exactly accurate. I like to leave myself a little leeway so I don't overdo it. In this case, less is better. And the material I'm working with is kangaroo hide. And as you can tell from here, the uh, bevel is quite nice when it's done, especially with a fresh new blade. And like with any tool that you use, you should make sure that you're safe. And not cutting yourself and all that. Um, what I do like to do on to ensure my safety and others that come into my shop is I remove the blade after I'm done cutting and then I put this up in another place I've got a tube that I keep uh, all my used blades in so I can use these later on because they're recyclable uh, basically uh, just for doing your basic cutting or 90 degree cutting or whatever and of course I got my new tube these are just injector blades from Tandy they're like $4.95 a pack, but I buy them by the 50s. Now I'm going to fine tune my cut to where I want it on that one side. And what I'm doing is I'm taking it in just a little bit further, and it's going to shave a little more off. And I don't like to tighten this down much, but a little bit hand tight and just a little bit more. And that's it. Basically, you start with this end, and then you go down. If you notice the placement of my thumb, it's right there, hooked into that edge piece. All I'm doing is just shaving off the bottom. And this is by far not my final cut on it but as you can see the 45 degree angle comes out really well when I do my final cut you won't see any of these edges here like that that'll all disappear so in this case working with less or cutting less before you actually do your final cut is probably a little bit better until you get to actually know how you like to have your lace a lot And I think this here will be one of my final cuts on that side because I got to do the other side yet. I'm 
just applying pressure to it with my thumb and dragging it down with my right hand. As you can tell where that big area was that we were beveling through, now it's coming out. As I have my my basic form, my basically basically my final cut is right here, and I will show you. This is what I cut off. This is what I'm keeping. I haven't got my cutting technique uh, perfect yet. But with some more practice, I'll have it down right, and I'll be able to produce some fine quality cut lace, hand cut lace, which is what I want to do. I'll be able to produce produce my own, be able to cut my own. Now, what I'm going to do to move it up out of a that part that I used for cutting on my blade, I'm going to move this up just like that and then tighten it down because that part underneath where I was cutting at is still sharp just like a new blade Just like with any tool, any tool can be really dangerous to your uh, physical health. As you can tell, I've already cut myself once today. Less is always better on one side. But in this case, it looks like it looks pretty good. I mean, when it braids, it'll braid fine. I mean, most of it will be hidden anyway when I go and braid it. Because once you bevel the lace, the lace tends to lay down flat a lot easier and it takes a whole lot less rolling out your braid uh, a whole lot less effort in rolling your blade out to hide all the uh, mistakes and the flaws within the lace itself um, I treat my I treat my leather uh, with Picard's leather dressing um, with this with that with that particular uh, leather dressing a little bit always seems to go a long way as I was first told that by two people and from my use of it um, I'm pretty pleased with it because it does really soften it up and it uh, protects it alright y'all you have a good one that's it for now bye